What's going on guys? Today I wanted to show off an application known as Wave Launcher, which I'm sure most of you will enjoy. Let's get right into it. So right off the bat, this application will be free in the Google Play Store. It will become an add-on to your current launcher. And what it does, you can swipe your finger from the edge of your screen and a wave of your favorite applications will be available in whatever application you're in. So for example, if you're on Twitter and you want to switch over to another application such as Instagram, you can touch the edge of your screen where your gesture area is located and you can swipe your finger up towards the middle of the screen and then you can drag your finger over the application to select it and then raise your finger to launch the application. It's a pretty simple maneuver and you will get the hang of it when you start using the application more. Within the wave, you can also have widgets which will hover over your home screen until you press the X button on the top left corner. It's a very handy feature when you're not on your home screen and within a third party application. You don't have to close the application to view the widget because it's always there in the wave, by the way. You can also add shortcuts such as Google Books to keep up with your readings picture so you can automatically view it whenever, a favorite contact to call them, and even an app drawer when you need a specific application. But the list doesn't stop there, you can have a lot of shortcuts so you won't be limited to just applications. You can also have folders with up to 10 items in each. Just drag your finger under the folder and move your finger just a little upwards to open it, and from there you can just move your finger left or right. So now you can have way more applications widgets, shortcuts, using folders, and they're all available in that single wave. In the settings, you can also edit the items in the waves, such as replacing the applications, widgets, or shortcuts. You can also select the width, the height, or the thickness and spot where you want to have the gesture area to launch the wave. You can change the color of the wave, you can change the number of applications in the wave, and you can also have other customizable options which do help make the wave just the way you want it to be. One more thing, it won't launch when you're using the keyboard because that would just be annoying. So it's the little things that help. So that's Wave Launcher guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. I'm trying to upload more consistently, so bear with me guys. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!